Hi all, I'm the Pickpick and welcome to a brand new series. The SCP Foundation. Oh yes. Don't mind me, I'm just eating. Professional! Now I should point out that, much like with the other games in the series, I don't really know what I'm doing with this one. I know a bit, but I'm not sure about this exact version of the game. Because it's been updated and such since I last played. So we're going in blind, more or less, which works for me. New game. I must say, I do like the whole menu thing. It's very um, snazzy. Yeah. It's run down. Okay. Name? Well, there's only one name we can go with, really. Because we are original. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty safe, Euclid, Keita. I presume that's the most difficult, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Do you want to. Oh. Do I want to what? I'm going to ask if you want to do the intro bit. That's kind of boring, but. We're doing it now, so. E11. One of the least accurate rifles in fiction. Their tasks include handling containment breaches by recontaining all active hostile SCP instances. Not rogue Class D personnel, they're the worst! The graphics are pretty good. Yeah. It's better than when I play. Toilet! Wow, you move slowly. Yeah. That's oh, the... what was that? Well, it went black, black for a minute. Now yeah. it's blinking. Alright, how do I kick up? Eh? Yeah. Face is blinked. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm going to have too much fun with that. Oh! Click. Oh, okay. Click, you pick up. Um, tab is in inventory. So it is. Oh no, are we a rogue class D? Why isn't it? Open it. I want to. There we go. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one month working period in one of our top secret research facilities. Ooh. Oh yeah, and this isn't a pause. Oh. Unfortunately, the, well, you in the background, you can wait. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming work assignments are highly classified. Oh, wow, you can read while you're blinking. That intro bit, if you want. I was reading that. Oh well. This will just take you straight to. Small teams, 10 to 20 operatives. I was reading that. It doesn't want me to read, does it? No, you will <laughs> not read. You don't play video games to read. I do. I'm fairly educated and sometimes occasionally intelligent. I might get educated in defense of actual game. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to set a timer off. Oh well, do ten minutes from now. Yeah. Secure, contain, protect. Oh right, you're at the point where you need to run. Uh, what was run again? Yeah. Run, laddie, run. Um, what's going on? Where? Click that. You lied to me. You told me it would open. No, you don't. Teletubby. He didn't tell me this was a Teletubby game. It looks like a Teletubby. Use the force. <laughs> well done. You died again. <laughs> the Teletubby just killed you. Congrats. <laughs> oh, a fatal cervical fracture. <laughs> yeah, it's not you know. I deserve that. Yes, you did. Well, considering that I die if I sit and read the stuff they give me, I die if I skip it and run in. Uh, shit. 
No, I'm going to keep it on Keita. <laughs> Just don't sit with your eyes closed. <laughs> I wasn't sitting, I was moving with my eyes closed. <laughs> We're just asking for it to come and kill you. Well, now I know wandering around with my eyes closed is a bad idea. <laughs> Run, run as fast as you can. Shotgun in hand, it's the gingerbread man. Wait, go back to the camera. Yeah, there's some dudes in there and there's telephone. There's a story. Is it holding? Oh! No? Oh, it's a bit weird. Oh. It is, it's. Do you want me to turn the light on? That'd probably help. Can I. Ah, there is a pause. Yeah. Okay. The keen eyed viewers will notice I'm waddling around the side of the room. There is a, per there is a point to this. Why is the screen shaking? Stop it. Is it making rumbling noises? No. Oh. Or I don't know. Or if it is, it's too quiet for me. Ah. Light! I like light. Oh, you have to be careful of this. This is a zappy thing. Is it active? Yes. It will zap you. You have to go time it right, but I'm not sure about it. Oh. I ain't bothering with that until I have to. I don't like having my back exposed. I don't know what to expect, and I don't like having my back exposed. Oh, there, that puddle. Have I just been eaten by a puddle? I thought it was just a bit of scenery, but it's one of the SCPs. It takes you to this world, and you just kind of swarm them until you get out. I don't think there's any actual method to this place. Do I still need to worry about your Teletubby in here? No, Teletubby isn't here. Oh, good. Of course, now I'm in the habit of blinking anyway. Uh, hello, world. Reassert yourself. I bet you made it out. I'll take your word for it. I'm still not entirely certain I'm back in reality. You have. That one, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. That looks like a lift shaft. That looks like it's going to kill you horrendously. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm not digging the whole red theme there. Let's just go. So in this game, 90% of everything will kill you horrendously. Ah, so we're playing TV tropes. Everything is trying to kill me. There's no light at all. I don't like that. Oh, you're not. Just I've got no running. <laughs> For that is a technical term. You missed. I don't think that can actually get you. Casual defense. Oh, so it is. You're gonna have to jump scare better than that to get me. Whee! Oh! I thought I died. <laughs> I think... I'm judging by that achievement, you've actually gotten out this time. The world does seem slightly more logical than it did before. Good. If I can't open the door, neither can your Teletubby. Right? Uh, oh, great. I'm not sure. Don't look like there's anything interesting there anyway. There'll be some kind of SCP. <laughs> that sounds like the sort of thing I don't want to be messing with, especially on the hardest difficulty. There is one that is really useful. Can hey, look, it's Puddle! Yeah. Hi, Puddle! Let's walk around that cave. It's well lit. I'm feeling a suspicious sense of well-being. Dr. Gears! I want to go visit Dr. Gears. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that to work. How do I get out? Ah. <sighs> Doctor, is he harping on? Oh. Huh? <laughs> get it? Puddle! 
Puddle! Hi, Puddle! Ooh. What was that? Are you lying to me? Oh, yes. I had no choice there. I was say, you didn't blink next to it. No, but it was going to blink anyway. Oh, right. So I, now, now you've seen two of the SCPs. I am actually enjoying this. I'm a bit annoyed by how slow we move, but... Oh, well, I wouldn't want it to be too easy, would I? So, unless you want to write the map seed down. 970. Special phenomena. Ah, the special phenomena. <laughs> the alterations in to the rooms do not affect neighbouring rooms and floors. There is as yet no known explanation for the appearance of this phenomenon. Ha! I think Puddle is 970. Since the first discovery of SP 970 phenomenon, blank further such samples of the phenomenon has been discovered, with blank percentage of these being in 800. Oh, it's press any key, so I didn't have to rush. <laughs> Yeah, this one is known for me. It's actually impossible for me. Now, well, I've shown off my ability to talk very quickly. Yeah, that's strange. Oh. oh, come on! She's not going to click so bad. I'm the one who has to deal with editing it. Oh, I quite like how I'm hearing things. Look at the screen, she says. Well, I didn't expect Teletubby to turn up because you had a friggin' keto! Alright, alright, I'll turn it down. Special phenomenon again. It really likes 970, doesn't it? Yeah. It Unless it's trying to tell me something. It's a muddy puddle! It doesn't look that much like a ginger. a uh, Teletubby. It looks more like a gingerbread man. I thought I'd turn that, but I like the Teletubby. Yeah, I don't think I trust you anymore, Screen. You used to be my friend. Uh, there's two of them. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. Hey, Puddle! Oh, Puddle is relatively harmless. Sometimes Pud you can die from it, but it's very rare. Puddle is my friend. Yeah, well, it's been Puddle is one of the uh, safer ones. That's good old Tesla Gate, isn't it? So the door actually saved my life. Usually when it just closes it's him stood by the button. Thanks, door. So puddle friendly, door is friendly. These are all official names now, you know. <laughs> door, help me out here. Right, well, I believe it is at this point that we are going to have to call it for the episode. Thank you for watching, I've been the Pick Pick, and I look forward to doing more.